Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to go to a country I've not been to for some time and that is Estonia and take a look at one of their civilian rations. Now this is the tactical ration bag, um, supposed to have been devised for special forces but on sale for general public civilian use. So let's get this on a table and see what this bag contains. And as you can see, I now have here on the table this Estonian civilian tactical ration bag. Now this particular bag is a quite large bag, it is a single meal. It's made in Estonia and they claim it is made for the special forces, the food packs were designed for special forces. It's a very impressive tactical heater bag it claims here and it's got a little hole in the top vent top and a water line I think the idea is you put the flameless ration heater pad in there and you actually warm food up in this bag like a little oven nice touch there is a simple tear notch at the top there and a reseal strip so we'll just tear it along the top This particular one is nice and fresh, it expires on the 5th, 2022, I don't know if that's being picked up there. Let's just have a look how this opens, nice peel strip and straight off the bat we have a very impressive large looking pack of mashed potatoes and bacon. This particular meal is what they call their delta range, so this mashed potatoes and bacon. 640 calories, nice large pack there. We also have an isotonic drinks powder, lemon flavour, so nice colourful drink powder there. We also have some rye bread. I'm not actually a fan of rye bread, but it is nice to get some actual bread in these rations. We also have here some berry blast core shake so it's a high protein drink so it's a sort of berry uh, core, uh, protein shake there is also a tactical drinking cup which is basically just a little tear open resealable mug there how that's a tactical drinking cup, I don't know. It just looks like it's the uh, beverage base bag out of the US MREs. And we have some beef jerky teriyaki flavour. In the bottom there, there is also a anti-back disinfectant wipe. So, no heating pad. So I'm not sure how this tactical bag actually works without a heating pad and it's also freeze dried so the only way I could have used that I suppose is if you made the freeze dried meal look cold and then you put it on the heating pad but there is no heating pad included oh there is a spoon nearly forgot the spoon very large bold spoon nice impressive size large looking tactical spoon there so this is the contents of this tactical ration bag uh, the delta menu so let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. And so, as you can see, I now have this tactical ration bag, the Delta Pack, laid out on a tray. And the first thing I'd like to do is make a start on the freeze dried mashed potatoes with bacon. Now, it does say this is a 645 calorie, one portion. And looking in the instructions on the back there, it just says open the bag, pour in 400 millilitres, that's about 14 fluid ounces of water, stir and leave for 9 minutes. So, best before date on this one is 2028, being freeze dried as a very long best before date. So, simple peel strip at the top, let's give that a try, nice and easy to open, we shall open that bag there, good seal looking at that, lots of contents, large oxygen removing pouch there, 
does have a gusset on the bottom of the pouch which is always always helpful so very large looking meal there we'll bring in the huge spoon that came with the tactical pack and it does ask for 400 milliliters or about 14 fluid ounces of hot water so i have that pre-measured just to save a bit of time and we'll put in most of it but not quite all at this stage as you know easy to put in difficult to take back out so good old mix strong smell of bacon coming from there straight away it's very crispy very dry do think that's going to need a little bit more even just by looking at that so I'm going to give it a little bit more looks like it is going to need its full quota of requested water again that has totally absorbed that there's still some dry bits on the bottom so I'm going to give it its full and hope for the best that's now had the full 400 millilitres asked for. Good old mix round. Get those dry bits out of the way. So, now I assume the rehydration is just for the bacon. So I'm just going to seal that up and give it some time to do its thing now the next things need a little bit of preparation also i'm going to take a look at this berry blast core shake again another 287 calories this is a 1420 calorie meal so very very high energy um, this particular one expires in 2024 or it's best before and this one calls for 200 millilitres, I did see it somewhere, 200 millilitres of water, shake and drink from the pack. I do have a cup and a glass, so it is going in the cup and a glass. Again, good, strong looking bag there. And again, a nice gusset bottom to the pouch, so it would stand up if you're drinking straight from the pouch. purple berry looking shake I do have 200 millilitres of water again pre-measured I'm just going to just have a look 200 millilitres is about six fluid ounces in US scale add that to it basically gives it a full full bag I'm always wary about doing these things in the bag you just know one day they're going to fail and you're going to have it everywhere but we'll give that a good old mix let's try and see what berries it actually says it contains so in English and find the English black currants raspberry puree rhubarb puree so black currant raspberry and rhubarb and black currant obviously the dark purple color so says it's a shake still feels a little bit runny not a typical milkshake more like a, a drink um, I have got a glass but I'm going to use the cup so it is a reasonably thick berry drink a nice dark blackberry raspberry style flavor uh, color moving along to the next drink this is a 375 ml lemon drink again very high calories are so suitable for athletes so all high calorie all 
plenty to keep. A hungry soldier. Did say special forces, so you know they need an awful lot of calories per meal. So everything is high calorie. And this one calls for simple full glass. I do have, as always, a USMRE spoon handy. So I'm just going to add this straight to the glass. Good mix. Good, good mix. No strong lemon colouring, which is nice to see. We also have some rye bread. As I said in the intro, had rye bread before with some of the German and some of the Estonian rations. Not a fan, it's not a particular bread I enjoy, but it is nice to get some proper bread rather than crackers in a ration, in a meal. Let's so just drag those out there, vacuum sealed. It was nice and fresh. There is two slices, but it looks like it's very difficult to separate. Will it separate? Won't it? Will it? Does just wanted to break though rather than separate, but there's two slices. I'm just going to leave one in the pack. And just work with the one. We also have a beef jerky, teriyaki flavour. Again, everything is in the black tactical style pouches, which is nice. Gives that impression of special forces. That's what the claim. Certainly the UK Special Forces, the SAS, SBS are well known for wearing their black. Again, good oxygen absorber there. Some little squares, pieces of jerky. Very large, hearty portion. So I'm just going to reopen the pouch, let's give that a bit more of a mix and then give it a few more minutes. Did ask for nine minutes, I guess it's probably had about five, so I'll just give it a couple more. It does look like it's ready to eat, but the bacon is probably a bit still crispy. So I'm going to start looking at some of the sidelines. So the berry shake, mixed berry and fruit shake. Oh, strange texture. There is a powder flavouring to that. Cannot say it's enjoyable. I'm very disappointed. Very, very powdery. There is seeds from the raspberries. There is the flavour of the blackberry, but it is the powder. Whether that hasn't thickened like it should have done. Mm. Very disappointing. I could see if that thickened like a thick dairy shake. Uh, that would be more appealing. As it is, it's unthickened. I'm not sure if that should have thickened further. I only put the amount of water in that it asked for. It does seem... Very, very powdery, almost like there is mixed flour, simple wheat flour mixed in it and you can taste that powder. Very unpleasant in my opinion, not one of the nicest tasting drinks out there. Very disappointed, was looking forward to that. Take a look at the lemon energy drink. Again, there is a light, slight lemon flavour. You can feel the electrolytes, you know there are salts in there. This is more than just a lemon drink, but it has that feeling that there are powders mixed in. Again, acceptable just about as a lemon drink, not inspiring. Quite strange, slimy texture. Um, again, very high in isotonic powders but just not 
a pleasant drink in my opinion very disappointed from what did look and promise to be a very promising meal so both drinks no coffee no alternative I'm not very not very enjoying we'll take a look at this teriyaki beef strips beef jerky Wow Very hard Very chewy Very 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 fibrous Does feel like You're chewing the sole of your shoe needs a lot of chewing it's need you need to chew that for a long time before you can swallow just try a thinner piece that is a very thick piece Let's try a thinner piece my word I don't know if you can see when the camera will focus the strand looks like cardboard feels like cardboard the taste of teriyaki is very mild it's like eating a strip of leather again I've had many jerkies many styles of jerky and this has to be again one of the poorest up to now so so disappointed um, nothing yet has been in my opinion of good taste good quality I think I'm going to try the uh, main meal now this is the mashed potato with bacon so good old mix around let's bring in the bowl so we can have a better look here's a lot it is a large portion very large looking portion see if we can get it out of the bag obviously 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 designed to be eaten from the bag that is nearly all of it there so again large bowlful large dish I can see little bacon bits what look like little bits of either cheese or maybe carrot in there um, the potato is very yellow so there is something like carrot in there I can see maybe a little bit of onion as well a little taste very salty very instant mash sort of saltiness to it the bacon is not particularly strong in flavour there is salt black pepper reconstituted nicely very dry would do with some sort of sauce or some gravy bit of cheese melted in there would go good very very dry very stodgy very filling very cling to your ribs hearty meal but just dry 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 lots of taste but monotonous and the more you eat it's very dry very stodgy certainly certainly fill your belly certainly make you feel stodged and full nothing wrong with the initial taste but again in my opinion just needs a little bit more moisture a bit of gravy coming from the UK or a bit of cheese so it's a little bit moister a little bit of the rye bread my bread is quite dry Not an expert on rye, not a bread we eat here in the UK. It has got that dark, malty sort of flavour that rye bread has. It does seem decent quality. As I say, no rye bread expert, not a fate, I'm not claiming to be. But as a first taste, very malty, very dark, 
dry but it does resemble bread let's try a little bit with the mashed potato mm. it does go with the mashed potato that sort of takes the malty taste away making it more acceptable to my own palate mm. so mains it's good tasting basic flavors just very stodgy very little moisture as for the rest of the meal the rye bread not a rye connoisseur can't claim to know a really good one from a really bad one but from that perspective it does seem a good quality rye certainly tastes malty a little bit on the dry side but did go well as an even bigger bulking agent as if it was needed for the potatoes the rest of the ingredients the jerky and the two drinks very very disappointing so overall from my personal perspective I'm very disappointed with this one meal delta range from the tactical ration bag it is edible certainly fill you um, you would know you've eaten a large bowl of it mains but the rest of the content very very disappointed I was expecting far far more so I'm gonna leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye